Hey everyone, James back here, and it's time for some more VGC 2015 battles from the doubles battle spot ladder in Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Today's team will be using Megalopony, Sylveon, Latios, Bisharp, Talonflame, and Ludicolo, same team as last time. Let's try to find a battle and see how we do. We're gonna find someone from Japan, 1656 rating. Let's see his team, and hopefully we can win. We're gonna see Kangaskhan, Garchomp, Charizard, Charizard, Venusaur, Togekiss, and Edgeslash. So the two possible met he has four possible Megas actually, but it's pretty much guaranteed that it's gonna be Kangaskhan and Charizard. You can't really run three Megas as it's not viable. So I'm guessing Charizard Y with a Chlorophyll Venusaur and the Mega Kangaskhan. And this seems actually pretty scary. I'm not sure what to lead against this. I do have Talonflame for the Sun lead, so I'm probably going to lead Talonflame. Actually, I'm going to lead Talonflame and Lopany. Lopany and Talonflame seem like a great lead option. With... Who do I want to bring in the back is the question. I... Sylveon does seem like it will work a little bit, but... He has 3 resisted to the Fairy Stab. I'm actually thinking of bringing Latias. Yeah, I'm gonna bring Latias and I'm gonna bring Bisharp. Let's see how this is gonna go. I'm leading Talonflame and Malopony with my Bisharp and Latias in the back. Let's see how this is gonna go. Hopefully I chose the right Pokemon. And let's see what he's gonna lead with. As he is in issuing the challenge, Lopany and Talonflame will be my lead against Charizard and Venusaur. Okay, so this lead, pretty much perfect for me to be honest. I'm going to Tailwind with my Talonflame. And I'm going to fake out the Charizard or the Venusaur. I'm going to fake out the... Charizard. I was thinking of faking out the Venusaur in case it went for Sleep Powder. But, most likely he does now want to risk the Brave Bird option from a Choice Man Talonflame. As Charizard Y is going to Mega Evolve, my Mega Lopunny also Mega Evolve. As he's going to bring out the Sun, which is going to bring out the Chlorophyll from the Venusaur. As we're going to see the Sun come out. Venusaur is going to go for the Protect. Okay, I did fake out the Charizard. As actually his Venus was faster than his Charizard, I'm guessing bulky Charizard Y. As Lopin is gonna go for the fake out into Charizard, Talon's gonna happen from the Talon Flame. So this is a very interesting situation. I feel like he's gonna switch out his Venusaur. And if he switches out his Venusaur, I feel like I can just KO the Charizard with a Brave Red High Jump Kick. And no matter who he switches into. I uh, won't like to take the combo. Brave Bird's going to happen. He's actually not going to switch out, which I'm okay with since I still get the KO on Charizard. With Talonflame's Brave Bird doing almost enough. High Jump Kick going to happen onto Charizard. It actually connects. Knocks out the Charizard. And let's see what the Venusaur went for. Probably Sludge Bomb onto my Talonflame. But no, he goes for the Grass Pledge. So we're seeing a Pledge team, and Pledge teams are fun. I used it in 2014 Virginia Regionals to get 12th place. It was very nice. He's going to bring out his Togekiss. I'm going to overheat the Togekiss. Well, it's overheat in the Sun Life Orb. I feel like that will do a lot of damage. And I'm going to Ice Punch the Togekiss. He's going to go for Follow Me. I'm okay with that as I went for Overheat and Ice Punch for hopefully a knockout. Ice Punch is going to happen onto the Togekiss. That is very physically bulky. As Overheat from Talonflame in the Sun Life Orb stab. How much will this do to the Togekiss? It almost picks up the knockout. Talonflame going to take Life Orb damage. As we're going to see the Sludge Bomb from the Venusaur onto the Lopunny. For the knockout onto the Lopunny. And I'm okay with my Mega Fainting right now. As I'm going to send out my Latias. I'm going to Icy Wind since I know my Latias is faster, and I'm going to overheat the Venusaur. 
I have no reason not to. As Togekiss is going to go for the follow me again, probably anticipating Raybird, but I went for the Icy Wind, because I know my luck. Latias isn't faster. What? I was sure my Latias was faster. <laughs> um, I'm going to have to double check my spreads again. I'm going to check for a minute if this Latias is even Eevee trained, because I feel like it's not. Icy Wind's going to connect with the Venusaur. Doing a nice chunk, it's a single target. Speed falls at minus one. Sludge Bomb is going to have out to the Talonflame, which is going to knock it out. And I'm going to double check this Latias because I don't feel like it is right. Tailwind's going to peter out. He probably has one more turn of some left. I'm going to send out my Bisharp. As he's going to send out his Garchomp. He's probably going to want to Dragon Claw. Or he can Earthquake. Both are options. Probably Dragon Claw. And this Latias does not look Eevee trained at all. I think I grabbed the wrong Latias from my box. Oh, the fail. The failure. I'm going to protect my Bisharp and Icy Wind. I do have Hobbenberry, so I should live. At dra I should live. So he's going to protect with his Garchomp. I'm going to protect with my Bisharp. As he's going to go for Sleep Powder onto my Latias, that's totally understandable, but I will burn one turn of sleep. As Latias is going to fall, be fast asleep. As the sun faded, which means my Bisharp should be faster than his... Than his, um, Venusaur. So I'm going to knock off... No. I think I'm going to Sucker Punch his Garchomp because he's probably going to go for Protect Earthquake. I really want to understand it. If he goes for Dragon Claw, I'm also fine as well. Venusaur really can't touch me. As Venusaur is going to go for Protect, I'm guessing he did go for the... Um, Earthquake. Sucker Punch is going to connect with the Garchomp. It's going to do a decent amount. As Bishop's going to take Rough Skin, we're going to see the Earthquake from the Garchomp. Latias obviously isn't effective thanks to Levitate. And we're gonna see the Earthquake happen. As Latias, will you wake up and get the Icy Wind off? We're gonna see the Life Orb Garchomp as well. And Latias is fast asleep. As my only chance right now is to Icy Wind the Garchomp and the Venusaur. Hopefully I will wake up. As he's gonna go for a Dragon Claw. Hobbin Bear is going to activate, which means I should survive the Dragon Claw. I do take it pretty well. As he's going to take Life Orb damage. Latias is going to wake up, get the Icy Wind off onto both of the Pokemon. And now it really depends on if, if his Venusaur is able to knock me out. As his Venusaur is at minus 2 speed, let's see what his Venusaur went for. He's going to go for the Sludge Bomb onto my Latias. Which, I'm able to live... Even though I have no Eevees on his Latias, I'm able to live that. And now, I'm going to go for the Draco Meteor. Hopefully it will knock out the Venusaur. Draco Meteor going to happen onto the Venusaur. And will this knock it out? Please knock it out. It will knock it out with a critical hit. And an uneven Latias just won me this battle. So I hope you guys like this video. I did not expect my Latias to not be Eevee trained, but be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends on Twitter and Instagram. I will Eevee train this Latias, so next time it will be doing some more work and I won't have to worry about speed ties. But I hope you guys like this and I'll see you guys next time.